well, 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 welcome to the Architects of Fate streaming extravaganza. That's right, you found the self-proclaimed original Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you shake up our world. Now pay attention because this is how it works. If you'd like to add some loops to this roller coaster ride of the show, you're gonna need fake chips. Now, these magical loyalty points can be earned just by watching, following, posting, subscribing, or just engaging with us in the chat. It's like free money, Pete. With your fake chips, you can use your powers as an architect to heal your favorite players, summon items that will make their adventure a lot easier, or a lot harder. You can even make players say or sing outrageously silly things. Think of those possibilities. But, but wait, 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 there is more. You can also toss our unsuspecting heroes into random encounters that will leave them sweating, strategizing, and questioning their life choices. All it takes is a quick redeem command in the chat. You choose the item or action and the player you want to mess with, and we'll take it from there. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a mind-blowing spectacle of storytelling and mayhem. We've got adventure, we've got drama, and more surprises than a clown car at a kid's birthday party. So let's go! Players, since before your sun burned hot in space and before your race was born, I have awaited players. Hey, hello, and welcome, Architects of Fate. Tonight, we are playing Star Trek Adventures, Bajor Rising Suspension. Uh, joining me tonight, we have an excellent cast uh, featuring... Uh, Ken as Lieutenant Nolan McLaren, one of three. Hello. Uh, Nathaniel as Lieutenant Bator. Pone Donkeys as the inestimable and soon to be murderous Izan Junja. Stay out of my way, Cardassian scum. <laughs> and finally, in his in his streaming premiere, as far as anyone else is concerned, our own Drew Neutral as Riddick Soul. Oh, actually, no, you're not Riddick Soul, are you? Who the hell are you, sir? I am Alex Morgan. Okay, Rake, Rake, and Raconteur, and Spy. Um, so the Starfleet team is is divided. Each person is now facing their own challenge. Uh, Lieutenant Nolan McLaren, XB-12, and Hank, the disembodied AI, are facing a dangerous encounter with a nest of crew T while they are trying desperately to warn of the impending, um, of the approaching Cardassian shuttles. Uh, yeah, you should be Hank G GPT. Uh, Jumja holds the life of Dominic the Christmas donkey in his hands. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Bator prepares to defend the, his comrades with all the cunning and logic he has gathered over a lifetime of, well, let's just say a real checkered past. I think there's some checkeredness. It's like, it's like a tablecloth in Kansas. It's very checkered. So what I want to do is, uh, players, where did we kind of want to start? Uh, did we want to start 
with the bass or did we want to see how um, uh, Nolan's doing? And what I'll do is the two players who are not at stake in this get to decide. How's that? That's Drew. That would be Drew and... You're kidding me. No one, no one cares. outside. At the very beginning. Start outside. Well, bugs. All right, bugs. Uh, as I recall, we had the consequence bus... Whoops, there's the consequence bus. Consequence bus came rolling along and has made things very difficult. Um, uh, Commander Williamson is still in your mind, even though uh, uh, Ben can't be with her with us here tonight. Uh, so if you want to put ben, words in Ben's mouth, um, Ben gets to do things like give you extra actions and things like that, you know, to as part of his AI. Um, uh, I think he was programmed to keep you alive, correct? Yes. yes. You have the survival instincts of a cabbage, I think was his phrase. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay, an XB-12 is facing down against one one really pissed off crew T. Uh, as I recall, Nathaniel and Drew uh, were running the crew T. I forget uh, who had who. Uh, one was taken out of action, uh, which is good for uh, good for Ken. And if I remember right, um, they I think they could jump and do a special attack is all, all I gave them. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go player characters first. So Reg and XB12, you guys are both um, are both up and you get to decide who, who does the move right now. XB's hurt, uh, right? Uh, XB shook oh, off his injury. Okay, okay, okay got it. Yeah, he got he got blasted and now he's he's back. And XB12 has a special ability called evade. So if you want to try and and uh um uh you know make essentially it's like you can you can attempt to evade for one point of momentum or threat. You can you can attempt to just make a, essentially a saving throw versus any attack cuz you're you're wiry. And that would basically be a, a, a 12. Just to let you know that, you know, I want XP to not to fucking die. <laughs> you got no punch, but you can try this. Um, all right. So uh, between you guys, uh, which one of you wants to uh, move first for your side? Uh, probably the person who can do something. Yeah. Well, it would be the guy with the phaser. Me. So um, I wanted to see that in my head, what I would do is uh, XB-12. I, I saw him, I saw XB-12 get um, hurt and then kind of like shake it off, right? Or get attacked. And yes. So I would want to kind of provide maybe some cover and if I can hit that one that's right in front of him. Okay. You have a crew T like right up on your set, right up on your knee though. Oh, man. Is that okay? I mean, you are you are you are facing your own dudes. You did drop the one um, uh, to your left. There's one one you know, which is now behind you because I think you're kind of turned around a little. Um, yeah, so you do have one off to your side and one coming up on you. There is one coming at XB12 and it's on the rock and it's ready to leap on him. So it is up to you if you want to, you know, do the do the heroic thing. Yeah, I do want to try to um, at least make like my way towards XP a little bit maybe okay um and then even if i don't shoot the one that's like facing them i would want to shoot the one that's coming up on me um that's the closest okay. to me all right so what i'm what i'm seeing is uh you would like to uh kind of retreat and fire mm -hmm. yes at the same time yes. okay so uh what i'll do is i'm just gonna uh make that uh require you to make a, a a difficulty level uh, three check instead of the normal two to hit somebody because you're going to fire on the run kind of thing. That fire off the hip, yeah. What um, yeah. what do I need to? That would be your security and control. Ten, and my security is three, so thirteen. So let me roll real yep. quick. It's not not terrible. Um. Oh, I got a fourteen and a three. 
Okay. Um, yeah, that that was only one point of success out of the three. So you didn't you didn't pull it off. Uh, so you have moved back, but you've missed. Missed. Okay. Okay. Because you didn't roll a consequence, you didn't do anything terrible. So I'm assuming you can move. You just couldn't hit. Is there any? So how? Yes, sir. I was gonna say, is there anything that um, Hank GPT can do to help me? Uh, let me see. What do you guys think? Should Hank GPT be able to intervene? Well, I was going to ask if we can put words in Hank GPT's mouth that, that I would yes. like to, to donate yeah. and then a sip from, from the flask. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, all right. So if you want to spend, uh, if you want to have Hank spend a couple of momentum, he could probably give you a second action like, to allow you to reshoot. Which is kind of how he works. He just kind of it does the um, what we call the command ability, where he can he can give someone his action. Okay. So um, I'd have to. I want to make sure it's okay with everybody else if I spend the momentum. So yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll spend the momentum yep. then and do another action. Okay. Yep. It's the same. It's the same attack. Uh, so it's still your thirteen. Okay. I mean, I'd be cool um, if you wanted to give him threat. I. I don't. I. I'm here. I'm here for the chaos. Cause you can buy dice. Oh, and for, and uh, Dominic the Christmas donkey took out all of my threat. And Dominic, okay, yeah, Dominic the Christmas donkey, which you may or may not have watched. I don't remember. I haven't watched all. Of, no, I haven't. I need. Okay. I need to watch it. But um, no, you don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't ever see that. Okay. Don't ever see this again. So oh, I'm going to, I'm going to like stumble backwards. Cause I, I'm trying to walk backwards, but I guess I tripped over a rock and that's what caused me to miss the first time. I'm like, Ugh. well, I, I wouldn't, well, I, um, your movement wasn't impeded. Uh, oh. if you'd have, if you'd have consequently failed you, I mean, you, you definitely were unsteady. Um, but you don't have anything in way of, uh, mechanically you didn't have a problem. Okay. I'll, I'll just say that. I'm not going to say that you, you know, yeah, you, you staggered, but you made your full movement all the way through it. I just wanted to make sure you didn't impede yourself any more than you had to. Cause ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tough fight, man. I don't want you to, I don't want you to. So can ooh, I, stab uh, yourself. can I buy yeah. some threat and roll three dice? Damn straight. Uh, what you do to roll three dice is you just buy one die, okay. uh, which is one point. You can buy another die and it's a total of three threat. Okay, yeah. What? Because each die gets a little more expensive. <laughs> Yolo. I like the fan. You'll just say. This is like going, the used car salesman at work. Like you're 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 getting undercoating, and you don't need it at all. You don't need right. it, but no, it's, fine it's the me. undercoating. Fine. This is a lot of shooting, and also keep in mind if you generate momentum from it, that that's also likely. All right, so whale away. So I need a thirteen, uh, right? Yeah, you're thirteen, and you're rolling four, uh, four dice. Okay. So I got a. Um, a 20, a 6, 11, and 18. The hell, man. <laughs> okay, the 20 is the 20 is the uh, the 20 is the truck of is the uh, we're bringing back out the 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 Ford the Ford of, of what did consequence. You say? We've just run over. What did, what did you say what? about wanting XB to be alive at the end of this? <laughs> You got two successes and a consequence. Yeah. And a consequence. Uh, so the two successes do hit the Kruti. And um, what I need, before we administer the consequence, let's let's throw some bones. What's your, um, what was the phaser damage? Was it like four or five? Let me see what my sheet here says. If it's just a regular phaser, it looks like it's 5d6. Yeah. Uh, um, some of it is, it it, um, it varies by your security skill. Yeah, I think so it's like the, three. Yeah, the base phaser's two and then i think you get one for each security you got oh, i have three security so i have five then five yep. d6 yep you should have five yep okay. and then each each phaser type just adds another point <laughs> it was, it's a these are simple people this is a simple fun game um but yeah you have five dice uh to throw okay let me so let's let's hear it let's hear them man five d6 let's hear some numbers okay um roll Got a um, a five, a two, a four, a five, and a six. Okay. What I want you to do is take the six and re-roll it. 
actually take the fives and six and re-roll it. Nathaniel, I've been miscounting damage just in case you uh, were wondering because a five and a six are effect dice. Which means, well, there have been times when you've had fives and we haven't done exploding dice with them. So I just wanted to let you know um, uh, in case in case that comes up. So the five, six, uh, the fives and six re-roll. So you're re-rolling three dice? Yes. Um, and I got um, a three, a two, and a one. So weird. All right. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Eight. Nope, you you dropped him for eight points. That okay. crutee is down. So Hank telling you, hey, to the left gonna... uh, is is a good one. Um, the tough part is that you've. Um, I'm gonna go with. You know what? You 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 drop. You know you fired it, and as you did, you did hit the stumble, the stumble rock that you've wanted to hit for this whole time, and as a result, you dropped your phaser. Um, say about uh, two meters distant, so it'll take you an action. It'll take you a turn to recover it. I want to make my phaser sound, though. Oh, you did? I'm going to make the sound. <laughs> okay. So, um, yep. So, uh, uh, bad guys, crew T three and four, who wants to go? Good, man. Drew, what do you want to do? Your crew T four. Let's pretend you're just going to beat on XB twelve. Yeah, just we'll I don't just, want to make we'll it personal. Please, please don't. No. <laughs> what am I rolling? What am I rolling against? Uh, you're going to roll for a four, uh, just a straight thirteen. Well, actually, you roll fourteen. You're you're an actual 14. predator, so you have a target of fourteen to attack. Um, you need one success, and you're rolling two dice. So roll a 20. Got a one and a seven. Why you have to get a critical success for the bad guys? <laughs> so you roll three. Um, uh, any overages don't really go to anything for you, um, okay. for your for your monster. Uh, and you roll 4d6 damage. Papa, please. Did you want to try and get out of this uh, XB12, or are you just going to wait and see if the damage soaks into you? I mean, we're here, right? I gotta... We're here, but you have the ability to, like, jump out of the way or attempt to dodge the damage. Well, that, dice, dice gods are on my side tonight. What'd you get? A one, a two, a two, and a oh, six. I'm going to go ahead and dodge for for, for, <laughs> for the sake of the, 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 the GM. I'm going to be a good player for once. <laughs> for the sake of your fellow players. There's been enough uh -huh, death and loss in this game. You can't catch me. <laughs> two, two. Good, because the six re-roll was a two. So. <laughs> <laughs> two, four, six, seven. Yeah, I'd say that um, what we're going to do is, uh, because we this was supposed to be a dodge, we're just going to see if you can turn a, a solid blow into a glancing one. Um, so roll against, uh, whatever, whatever passes for your decks, which I think is a 15. Uh, XB, all right. Uh, XB has got 15. a 15. Okay. So uh, yeah, you got a 15, two dice, unless you want to buy, use the pool. Uh, eight and a 14. That's two successes. That's two successes. Uh, one of those can go back in the bank. Unless you want to use it. Can I use it to um, ask the, the crew T a question? Is this an information gathering? Why? Task? What have <laughs> yeah. I done? I think it's because you're delicious. Because you're too cute and cuddly. Oh, okay. Um and what you can do is you can roll three D six, and that's the amount of essentially armor uh resistance you generate against damage. You should know I never I never take out dice in preparation for this game. That's okay. That's the whole well like you're ever gonna right. roll. That's that's like that's 90 my, that's my of the fault. time we don't roll. You can get away with this narratively. Uh one, five, and a six. Okay, re-roll the five and a six. Uh five and a three. Okay, re-roll the five. A two. 
Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, I think seven uh, points. So you actually negated the entire attack. So whatever it was, if you want to describe how the tail came down and missed you, or if you just think it got all your fluff. First, I'm over here. Now, I'm over here. Then, over here. Then, over here. Ha-ha. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, you've done that. Um, and XB12, your your dodge was just a dodge. And now you have an action. Oh, cool. Um, mm, is there like a is Balance is there like a Star Trek anything. version of vicious mockery? Like, can I make fun of it? Oh, sure. I mean, just tell me what you intend to do, and I will do. More, do I'll play with um, it. So. I want to insult the crew team and make it feel bad about itself. It it may not have the intellectual capacity for that. Uh, you know that that does that does make sense. Um, and XB doesn't have like a bite or like a hidden like laser uh, eye or something like that. Hey, do you want to spend uh, all the all the party's momentum to get one? Is it only two momentum to get a laser eye? I feel like if that's the case, then I'm uh, gonna. It's like you change the conditions. Yeah, two. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of you're course. You're gonna create it. You're gonna create an advantage. Give Give this character that is not mine a laser eye, please, <laughs> for two momentum right now. I want it. Uh, what I'm What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him the R two D two zappy 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 okay. skill. Yeah, yeah. Where you get essentially it's it's hand to hand zappy. Okay. That sure. work for you? It's like I knew you were heading for the laser eye. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't have to be a specific laser eye. Just you know, something like that. Laser claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laser claw. It could be a laser claw, it could be a laser uh uh you know, a la- a laser uh scent sack, anything. All right. Um so your 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 attack, uh you're only about a thirteen or well twelve um for your attack. Okay. You'll need one success. One, just one success. Just one success because it's hand to hand. Okay, so. that's that's that that's fine. And instead of thirteen, yes. Oh, oh, that fell on the floor. Where we roll that? Nope, who's a twenty? No, oh, that's uh, uh, it is it it. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled it. <laughs> uh, so I got a uh, seven and a twenty. Oh really? So that was the one that I picked uh, up off the floor too. What do we say about the dildo of consequence? Uh, I get smacked upon my face. Yes. <laughs> or well, there's something about yeah, there's something you, else, but we're we're somehow rated mature. I which I hope weird. there's an elderly. <sighs> mature as huh? an elderly. You did get your one success. Yeah, it is, should be. Yeah, we're we're, we're rated G boy. for geriatric. <laughs> geriatric. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the old fashioned. Uh, you wind up burning out your one, your yeah. thingy. Uh, so your I little, so I spent the momentum got, to buy it, out. and then I just screwed. I guess that's perfectly and fine. It, it I still get to do damage, yeah. right? Well, it burned out. It but burned you got, out. You got yeah, your one success. So how you many got, how many um, d6 is uh, uh, r2d2 zappy? Let's let's go. Let's let's for r2d2 zappy. Got it. And it's electrical, for whatever that matters. Okay, that is a three, and then two sixes and a one. All right, sixes re-roll, please. Five and a two. God. I'm going to kill it. All right. You guys are rolling quite Five. well. A one. Okay. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. I think seven, maybe enough. Eight. Um, yeah, that puts enough. that puts down yeah. crew T, crew T. Eight is enough. See what I did there? I watch me TV. Um, Nathaniel, you're you're in charge of the lone crew T. It does not have to attack to the death. No, it's gonna make a break for it. Okay. Uh, so he's going to retreat from the battlefield. And what I'm. That's momentum worthy. What is? Turn tail and run. Come on. Give it up. I give it up. 
I don't follow. Out. He's got a tail. Oh, look why? at the look at the prominent tail. You we we get another oh, one okay. for you not getting it. I think. Uh, which one is it now? I'm red, green, colorblind. <laughs> we're just gonna pretend. All right, so we're not. I don't know why I'm handing out points of inspiration like they're candy, but we're just gonna do that. You're you're setting um, a very dangerous precedent. <laughs> Oh, this whole thing is a dangerous <laughs> precedent. Um, the, uh, the 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 cool part is, um, uh, Nolan, you you did fall, right? You did finally fall. I, yeah, I stumbled and dropped my uh, phaser. You dropped your phaser. Yeah. And uh, here's here's your phaser. And it falls way the hell over here. Um, by the dead Gruti. XB. So are you going to, uh, you're, we're out of combat. Um, yeah. Hank's excited. Hank's like saying, maybe you should put a, put a tie a knot on that thing and keep with it. The Mounties were cool. I think you should be like a Mountie. Have your, have your, have your thing on a string. Oh, the, the, the pet. Okay. The phaser. The phaser. Oh, put the phaser on a string. Tie yeah. a string on it. Like your mittens. I didn't know what he was getting at either. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like thinking a knot. What Drop are you talking thing. about? I was thinking a knot. Um, more knowledge about mountains I than I've it. ever had. So, yeah, I'm going to tell Hank just take another drink and be quiet. Okay. Uh, whoever wants to make the glug noise, <laughs> it's just fine. And then I'm going to. So, um, go oh, go ahead. I was just saying I wasn't going to make my way over. Um, you know, get up, like dust mm -hmm. myself off, and go get my. Phaser off the ground, and then check mm -hmm. on XB and see how XB's doing. Oh, okay. we still have the uh, no, the other critiques dead. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah, the other critiques are well. They're not dead. They're just stunned. Oh, okay. Um, you could, they could become dead if you wanted them to be, but that would not be the Starfleet way. But XB two twelve is not in Starfleet. Jumja so. has entered the chat. <laughs> Jumja has a, <laughs> the spirit of Jumja possesses XB. <laughs> You've you've done something to my cousin's friend's nephew's roommate's dog. Die. Um, as you pick up the phaser, you uh, you notice and you're doing a noticing thing because you're Starfleet. You observe things. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like there's this kind of in the rock face. There's kind of this. There's the rock color doesn't match. So one of them's artificial. Possibly. The rock face, like in front of us, or the one over here. That yeah, the rock the face, right, 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 where your phaser uh, landed. You, you walked over to it, picked it up, and while you were there, you were noticing that you know there's just, just it, it just the the rock itself is a little mismatched. Mm -hmm. The ground is like, you know how the the sand is supposed to be like a little little up against the rock, and it's not quite, and. Um, isn't, isn't yeah, that normally just will course. Enough, gets in, gets in between it did get, it, this didn't. Yeah, oh. yeah, this just didn't get everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna um, notice this because I'm an observant um, Starfleet officer. I would like to scan the door if that's okay, or scan the the face. For sure. Yep. Go do your little little scanny scan. Okay, I did my little scanny scan. Do you have your sound? Do yeah, you I just played it. I'll play it again. Man, we must have noise cancellation on. Oh. I turn it oh, up. well. Turn it up. I thought it was all the way up, but maybe it's not. Let me see. No, it, it could be that we've got noise cancel on, or I might have it on mine. Hmm. Not sure. I turned it Either way. Up, but... Folks, you have missed you have missed some really great role playing here. Let's you see have. if mine works. Um Yeah, I don't know if mine's coming through. What does XB12 remember? I'm sorry. I don't know. Some about oh. this rock. Oh, uh, mm. Some about, you know, you used to come from there. Danger rock. Danger rock. <laughs> Danger rock. <laughs> what? Oh, um, Isn't that where he came XB from? And... Oh, like 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 yeah. the ori like originally maybe. Ah, uh, see, I interpreted it completely differently. I thought maybe that's where you got work from. It's okay. I, I don't know. Care. You know. 
I'm working hard on this. It's okay. It's not like I've worked all type, weekend on this. Type, type clear directions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're not wrong. Um, not wrong. So I'm going to, I guess, notice that he's saying Danger Rock. No, Danger no, Rock, I'm my saying. neighbor's band. Oh, oh. So that's your musical taste. Well, Understood. Home. Also, the name of the street. That's where he got the band name from. Okay. So I, I'm listening to him, but I'm also hey, trying to fixed it. read. Like, fixed it. Totally. You totally nailed that. You recovered it right out of nowhere. Want, That's worth a whole threat. I wanted to know. Yeah, he sounds like Darwin. Yeah, I find Sorry. anything on my track board. Is there, are there any readings? Yeah, it does. Um, for some reason, it seems a bit shielded. Um, it actually comes back with with um, nothing, surprisingly. It it's not a rock. It's not uh, duranium. You can't, you know, if you, if you scan the other rock next to it, it says that's a igneous rock. It's blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's a rock. It does a rock thing. It's at this much things, but this particular zone. Um, uh, this particular, what would it be called, um, area that you're scanning that's about, um, you know, we're in Star Star Trek, so we're going to do meters. It's about a meter uh, a meter square in the rock face. Just his null. Hmm. Curious. Okay. Um, so since my tricorder doesn't really... Um, uh, is only does it come back with anything that I'm going to look and see. Obviously, if the sand around the bottom is disturbed, does that mean that it, mm -hmm. it opens? Like I can open it. We investigate uh, this and see. Yeah. Uh, yep. So any anything you're gonna gonna try, push, pull, kick, pee on, uh, throw XB12 at it. I don't know. I was gonna do all of those things. Actually, I was gonna pee on XB12 and then throw XB12 at it. Don't threaten me with a good time. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm just going to push it and see if I can open it. Uh, some, like this. Some, some XPs are really. <laughs> um, you should be called XP. Please, all you watchers. XP. Uh, oh. This, we are very professional. We do not condone animal violence of this nature. Oh. We, we just stunned a bunch of other creatures. Honestly, Only but fictitious yeah. animals that don't them. exist in real life. And and also yeah we've all watched that scene in Baldur's Gate now the squirrel the squirrel what about the bear oh that oh, one I don't know well, I've only seen keep keep going keep going oh e six e six twenty one is lit up with that right now but yeah okay I'll go with I'll go with whatever just don't don't Google that that's all I'm saying um. So we got, uh, so you're, you're, uh, you know, touching the wall. The wall feels like rocks. Um, there seems to be, as you move your hands around, there seems to be like a seam that you can kind of more feel than see. Um, and, uh, what, cause this is ridiculous to have you like stymied by something XB. Do you want to do anything, uh, clever, like with find a button or anything, or do you want, I just uh, want to walk. I just want to uh, walk you, right in. Do you think... There's a, there's a little XB. Door. Okay. Could be a motion activated door. I it's on my collar. Okay, you, it's like, you, it's like chipped actually... into my collar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking you just walk up to it and it, it chips and it. Yeah. So the door, the, uh, the rock comes forward a little bit. And then in the old Star Trek way, it just like, you know, it comes forward a little bit and then slides. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. It is. And uh, inside you find a, 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 a darkish cave uh, with surprisingly some some very low level of, of uh, tech, technical technological light. Looks a little Bajoran. So like light bulbs, okay. Yeah. Space light bulbs. Excuse me, I was coughing. Um, okay. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess XB would be walking in ahead of me since I opened the door, but I'm going to fall <laughs> in. Off you go, XB. <laughs> Get in there. You're going to go in there? Yeah, I'm going to go in there and see if I can look around and see if I can notice anything other than the technological lights. I just, do I see any panels? 
it's a it's a it is a very long tunnel it goes off into the distance the, and it's and it's like curved every 10 10 feet so you can't quite see around the corner so that we can reuse the set when we have to film from a different direction i didn't realize so it's that budget it's, constraints i'm sorry um yeah good old good old star trek with imaginative uh vocal we've established we have vocal constraints and we have imaginative constraints gotcha. okay um so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to ask somebody uh where am i at hold on just a second hey jeff could you try and take susan out susan and greg they need to go pee sorry i needed to call for dog service oh could you take susan out yep um okay so what i want to do is flip back to um well no uh let's let's see how we're doing here uh Bator. doing good why don't you go all right yep what i'm gonna do is take you your your head into the tunnel and i'm gonna do nope go and so the dogs won't go without me so i've just put down a pad over here off screen because this is what's going to happen. Okay, I guess we don't. Um, I could hold the dogs up, and like the cat, but who knows? So anyway, what we've got is um, Bitor, you are prepping, and uh, Glenn Lafat has has said, "Have we preheated the stove?" And if I remember right, you were beginning preps, and I do not recall what they were specifically. I believe you put in a transporter scattering field. Scattering field went up first, so they can't just beam on in. Second was the yep. automated defenses. It probably just trying to shoot them out of the sky. <clears throat> and last but not least, if they made it past the turrets, uh, the upper upper level uh, lockdown. Uh, when you say upper level lockdown, you'll have to help me. Okay. Um, so I'm in the commandant slash office. There looks like it's yep. one, two, three. Uh, there's the entrance. There's the barracks. I'm sure there's like uh, doors between mm -hmm. uh, the entrance and, and the commandant's office that can be sealed. Okay. Yes. And I'm, so you're just locking yourself in. I'm preventing anybody from outside accessing uh, the inside the traditional manner. I don't know about downstairs, but I think that would probably take a couple extra rolls to figure that out. Okay. Yep. And what I'm going to do is uh, we'll put down and lock exterior doors, I think is the, the safest, quickest way to do that. All right. So what we've got is you brought these things online. And I'm going to show you like our, our essentially our base defense. I think you can see this uh, fairly clearly, right? Yep. Okay. Everybody gets to pick a, a Cardassian shuttle. Hey, that time. Which it won't be. It won't be personal. You're, you're beginning to sense a, a, a bag of tricks that I. I have. would like to take number um, eight. Well, number eight oh, is his hit points. Oh. So, because I ain't keeping track of anything. Normally, the, on a real table, I just have beads on top of everything, either to add or remove damage. Uh, so they, they, they're flying with about eight points of damage. They're going to have a couple of points of resistance. Your base, uh, Nathaniel, uh, Rathorn base, has two points of resistance to it. So that means it's essentially armor. So anything has to get past that armor uh, to do damage to the base. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it, but keep in mind, these are like ship and building phasers, so they will be different. We're all just going to scale it up, and amazingly, it's all the same number of points. Um, a, norm, a normie hit by one of these, well, that's the end of it. Um, so who wants to be, you know, one, two, three, and four? Um, you guys can take advantage, number four. Um you guys can take advantage of terrain. Uh, you can attempt to hide behind stuff. Uh, you can move about, you know, a quarter of the 
a, a tenth of the screen or uh let's go with um you know like from here to here in a single move so about a about a, a fifth of the screen more or less um <coughs> we're shuttle and you know, shuttle right yeah your sh- your cardassian assault shuttles not expecting anything at all <laughs> you're just you're just Cardassian shuttles coming back from committing yet another atrocity. Hey, because, number yeah, number two, um, I can't I can't wait till we get back to port and we can actually get some service, right? Ah, my bolts. I'm looking forward to all that yamak sauce we're gonna have. Who's uh who's shuttle one and uh Ken, you're up to one or three? We three, since I'm one of three. Three three. So. Oh, ouch. Okay, so Shuttle 1 is basically on its own, is what I'm hearing. We don't, we don't let them sit with us. Okay, so uh, uh, I believe Mr. Brody is too. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, one side, other side, one side, other side. Nathaniel, you'll even though you have four turrets <laughs> because of reasons, uh, you get kind of one shot per turn. But if you want to use momentum, you can hold, you can t- hold the momentum and, and make a second attack. What, what momentum uh, that, somehow mysteriously okay yeah, i got two you do now I or you hard get for that two momentum and that was, i got both of those momentum from your joke yeah thank you see i've got the little damage markers up here too so everybody can feel really good about it all right um so the what i'm going to say is these these uh, rings that I've got here um, are the number of dice you can add or remove uh, from damage. So as as they when they approach the outer ring, uh, you're gonna lose. It'll be like two dice off off your damage and one difficulty level higher because uh, it's extreme range. Shuttles you can only fire roughly in the yellow band. And you'll still you'll be taking a minus one on both attacks until you get inside uh, uh, the turquoise band. The base can fire out to the red band, and it's like base. It's minus one, minus one uh, at the red band. At the yellow, you have no penalties, and at the whatever, you'll have a bonus. Does that make sense? Because you are basically shuttles attacking like uh, an installation. Um, there might be some complications if, you know, you're trying to fire across the base with a turret, like turret B crossing the base might increase the complication range to a 19, just to give you an idea of that, the way things go. All right. Um, uh, first move is the players. So that's you. Yes. Um, I have a question. If I were to transfer sure. power from D and D, could I increase the, the either Crush the com- the uh, complication or negativity for A and C. I like that idea. Yeah, uh, just you just need an engineering or security role with, um, I think, reason to to do that to do that crossing power. So basically, you're basically cannibalizing B and D a little to to give you extra bo- to to give extra power to to the two phasers nearest right this is like saying all power to forward phasers kind mm, of thing. not all power but a nice chunk chunk of power more power yeah yep so we'll just transfer they'll get penalties like shuttles then you'll just depower them to shuttle range so it's your it'll take a, a two successes against uh security and security or engineering and reason Can't use it. I don't think I can use improv improv improvisation. Not really much. Of it. Not quite. Um, and I got to find out if that was meant to be like technological or social or just <laughs> everything. I use because I like the idea of Second City rewiring a a nuclear power plant. I use uh, one of my talents. Sure. What is it? Uh, computer expertise. Whenever you attempt a task that involves programming or study of a computer system, which technically I am. Um, 
I would give it to you if you're going to program attack patterns, but you're just rerouting power at this point. Okay. But keep that in mind, put that in your back pocket, because if you need to fire these, set these babies up for auto fire, <laughs> you, you got that. How'd you do anyway? Anyway, do you still make uh, it? I got double twos. <laughs> okay. Um, we didn't, we didn't get, um, we don't have any, but you didn't, you didn't have a talent, did you? I didn't use any of my talents or I didn't use any of my things, my focuses. Okay. Damn. I wanted to, yeah. Um, yep. So you, you managed to, uh, goose A and C and lower the efficiency of B and D. So you're good there. And this will now be A plus. Oh, come on. It's not going to let me do it. Fuck it. Just, just All right. Down. So, um, okay. So that was, uh, I'm going to count that as your move. Um, assault, assault group returning from home, ready to have some yamak sauce. I need some radio chatter. I'm already eating my yamak sauce. Okay. You believe these dumb Bajorans and their earrings? Ugh. So tired of them. Yeah, they really you want to say they really the deserve answer? everything we're giving to them. 100%. I mean, yeah, they're not Cardassians. Speaking of, have you seen the latest episode of Keeping Up with the Cardassians? That Caitlyn Jenner, I can't believe it. She's crazy. Oh, God. So who is... Uh, um, I take it, I hate to say it, you just are just flying toward your path because you got really nothing else to do. Um, so in, in we go, la, la, la. I'm assuming this is how we want to do this. Uh, Drew, I'm just going to move you unless you've got other opinions. Okay. No, nope, that's good. Yeah, just move me forward. <laughs> just move me forward behind it, everybody else. This feels like a Thor's hammer attack kind of thing. Um, so one has just crossed into actual, uh, engagement range. As far as I know, Nathaniel, you have not turned on targeting scanners or anything like that. Um, I didn't want to put words in your mouth. You didn't put the base on alert or anything, but you've warmed up the towers. You just haven't turned on the the pew pew scanners yet. Uh, are you doing anything now with your turn? You're writing down a shopping list. You're. I'm sorry. Keep go. Go, go do what you need to do. Order like. Uh, yeah. Seeing who's doing what. So okay. So you can hear which one made the most the most offensive comments and pick them okay, first. So uh, which, uh, Ken? Which one were you? You were number three. Number three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's one of three. Should be three of three technically. Okay. Um. I'm just. What I want to do is just bring on the active sensors, like, just like, as if, as if the base's natural sensors were just, they pick them up. It's not, gotcha. I'm not, I'm Without, not, not, not the targeting no, scanners I'm not targeting or anything. Them. Just the, I am just bring, using the yep. normal uh, sensors to, ooh, okay, there you are. Yep. We have you on, yep. Uh, yep. we have you on. Uh, yep. um, one of the, the, the person in the shuttle one says, Hey, where's our landing beam? And they, they're calling to you for air tra for traffic control. And he's calling a specific uh, gull's name or a specific um, soldier's name who happens to be like, you know, on the ground in front of you. You kind of look at him. You go, oh, yeah, that's you because he has a little name tag on. Um, uh, so it's um, uh, Cartan or whatever it was. But he, yeah, he's like, you know, Cartan, where's our landing beam? I'm not going to land these things. I'm not going to land these heaps again without a landing beam. You don't tell me maintenance didn't fix that. The stupid Bajoran workers. Um, I oh, open boy. communication and say, this is Cartan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've had a small. Now improvisation, sir. This is where improvisation pays off. Tell me about it. Six years of drama class. Yep. Um, <laughs> The longest six years in the academy. <laughs> yeah. So Cartan, uh, the Ferengi is making uh, is making a break for it. He has stolen 
uh, and started asking the secrets. He is heading in a northerly direction. <laughs> oh fuck, that is brilliant. All right, so I had, a, I had we are allowed to I had something different, but I'm That's like, you, this this might work. Do you want to try a different thing, or I like this one. I mean, if you want to try a different one, I think I think you struck gold. Certainly, it's very operationally easy to work with. Um, yeah, so um, uh, literally, this is a presence and either security or command check. Presence and... No, I mean, they're both the same, so... Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to use... And I think it, in that case, I think it's command, but that's okay. Yep. I use my focus improv improvisation. This is exactly what <laughs> improvisation is for. Okay, so presence. So you're making the official it, it's uh, command or security? Yeah, I will command. Um, when you when you have a choice, it's like kind of more the flavor of what you say or or what you're doing. So you're you're trying to convince them with with words. And how many successes? Yep. You, need? you just need one. I got two. Okay, because they're easy. So you can bank it or you can add to the lie. Bank uh, or say I'd really like this effect to be really big. I I will bank the extra. Okay. Just because I might need it. Okay. Um, so uh, ship one uh, begins moving off toward this way. Um, what I'm going to say is all of you have choices, but I would, I would strongly encourage you to, in your own minds, roll highs or lows and decide if you're going to be too tired for this shit or if you really hate that Ferengi, you can decide with dice or by, by your own role-playing choices. Because the, the Ferengi's kind of swindled all of you at one point. The only another. person I hate worse than that Ferengi is that goddamn donkey. <laughs> We've weaved him in. Okay, so what do each of you do? <laughs> um... I want to go after the Ferengi. I don't feel like it, as this Cardassian that I'm that I'm inhabiting, I don't feel like I would be the type that would let something go. Oh yeah, I'd nope. be like yep. oh. Cardassians are that big old are not not. What did they? What did the Ferengi do to you that made you really want to go after him instead of just going and getting a cup of uh, 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 Hershey syrup? Canar. They stole my collector's edition. Of the Gul'dan girls. Oh fuck! All right, yeah, that was good. Um, okay, that's a point. All right, that's a point for that. Uh, Drew, do you have a decision you want to uh, do? Are you yeah. going to return to base, or are you going? We're going. We don't. We don't like the idea of stolen, uh, stolen secrets by a Ferengi. Did so. Did the Ferengi do anything to you personally that you want to uh, earn the group a point for? Um. Yeah, he um, accidentally, he was practicing with his whip and accidentally hit me on his backswing one time. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Gave me a little scar right here on my cheek. The thing is, the thing is, like, made out of nerve fiber. Uh, <laughs> so it was a big, it's a big scar. Yeah. All right, so um, you're going to have some challenges. I'm going to have you kind of not go too far because you have to gain altitude over the mountain. I'm assuming you don't want, you you can either go around the mountain or over it. No, so we're taking a beeline. We're going over the mountain. Okay. Uh number two, Pwned, uh what are you doing and why? Going after the Ferengi because <clears throat> he sold me some what he called rare low buy crystals, and someone had to step in and say that, you know, you could just find them, you know, on any old planet. Okay, got it. Get that reference. Hmm. I get that reference. Yeah. Wait, what did what did I miss? The first episode of Voyager. Come on, man. It's a Voyager when he. Oh, when the rare low buy crystals. Yeah. Tries to swindle Harry Kim. Okay, Lieutenant Nolan. When you are back in play, you have an advantage uh, <laughs> on your next roll. 
Now, again, I'm assigning it to Nolan, not the player. Okay. Because as the player, you could use it now. And I'm not Nolan right now, so yeah. no, I can't. You're not Nolan right now. And I think I might be, as a meta thing, I've got two mechanics that I'm probably going to introduce the next session, which I think you'll all enjoy. One is you personally get points, not your character, uh, for a couple of things. And the other one is called a narrative pause. And I think we're going to do that. We're actually going to institute that now because we just did it. Where in the middle of combat, there is an extra step in combat, which involves evaluate and narrative, like you were in a, a Japanese or a, a Chinese Kung Fu movie, where you get to have conversations during combat. Oh, that's cool. You know, that kind of that kind of thing. Hey, I watched the video. I had it in my mind anyway, and I, I want to put it in here because I think it's good. All right. Um, back to you, Peter. What are we doing? They're all turned. They're all heading off to that Ferengi. Um, this is kind of clever. I don't know if they'll how long you guys could just make a run for it. I want to check. Yes, I want to check in with the uh, party that's gone downstairs, and I'll use the I'll okay. use the base in, uh, internal communication device. Okay. Um. Just like a quick e- 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 lo- locate them and say, and just use like the closest monitor and say, "What's going on? Are you guys done yet?" Okay. Um, sense. Okay. At this point, we come upon the scene, which I was kind of hoping to dump into uh, Ben's lap, but I guess not. Uzan, you are standing over a prone. Dominic, the Christmas donkey, on the floor. You have a disrupt, uh, whatever the bracket's called. I think you had a Cardassian disruptor, phaser rifle. Um, I believe you had set it to kill. And you had to give me threat. You had Tupac with a phaser. Tupac had had grabbed it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and what was your words of wisdom again? (laughs) I don't remember. I think it was along the lines of it's going to change you. Yeah. You know, you, once you do this, it, you'll never be the same. And not for the, not um, for the better. And not for the better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of leave this up to Joomja without a contest of, of PVP at this point. Uh, we, we actually kind of um, rolled that. and Yeah, how did we do it? Did it? It was a tie, if I recall. I got, I got net ones. So I mean, uh, depending on what. Oh, you did get that once. Well, that was how you that was how you stopped him from it, uh, nailing the guy in the first place. You just reached out and snapped the gun. Now you're holding it, and you're and you are keeping him from doing it. So he's going to have to do. I, think it was just... I apologize. Yeah, no worries. And that's it's how fine. he froze. It's fine. This is what's going to. This, this is uh, what Jump is going to do. Yeah. <clears throat> he's going to go fine. What? Okay, you're right. You're right. Rip the gun back. He's going to get really close to Dominic. And go, you smarmy little fuck. You are the reason my parents are dead, you piece of shit. <laughs> You're lucky. Uh, he goes up behind. Uh, Tupac comes up behind. And he says, "You could put him in the bot uh, on the bed." I have absolutely no objection. Of his own medicine. Well, the, beds, the beds have a lot of uh, kind of they look like robo surgery things. They're like an auto surgeon. There you go. I have no problems with that. Sure. Um, I want to do that and then get to the controls and I want to set them to the most like devastating exploratory surgery possible. I really want to know is uh, is someone still in chat? The double is still in chat. <laughs> yep, he is. Donkey. You get a donkey colonoscopy. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Hold on. We'll, we'll just quickly I read get the mask, the alien mask and like you. Seven dollars for roses. And then I want to turn up the intensity. After hear after hearing that, I want to turn up the intensity. I, I again stop you and just like this is enough. 
Nope. <laughs> you this is <laughs> enough. He's getting or <laughs> being invaded. Oh, this is this is um this is uh you know, light gone horribly wrong in this era. This will occur off camera and all we will see is your reactions. Uh, as to what's happening. It's it's not going well. Uh, you just hear, you just hear. Ah! Ah! waving in the ear. That's that's and when then, uh, Beethoven's face comes up on the computer screen and say, uh, "I've temporarily, uh, I've temporarily solved the problem, but it won't last long. What's going on down there?" Just a little bit of revenge. The background of the there. screaming is the gentle <laughs> sound of Christmas bells. <laughs> like this, the sleigh bells. <laughs> so I don't want to know. No, you're hearing your really sleigh bells now. <laughs> I um, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Morgan, what what is the report? Lieutenant, we, we still have to pr proceed through uh, further rooms to get to the computer core to get the information we're looking for and since uh lieutenant commander morgan is a member of starfleet Lead intelligence he's not uh disgusted or anything by this display of torture so he's just going to move to the next door and start scanning for life signs on the other side developing a set of skills You've got two life signs right there let him out let him out. All right, so we're gonna leave the two people on the bed. Uh, no, 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 moving no, no, on. No, no, no. Uh, 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 no. Moving on. Nope. We're, we're against time on. here. John Morgan's is going. absolutely <laughs> going to go and try to get at least the Bajoran. That's not a Bajoran. That's half Bajoran, half Cardassian. No. Nah. Yeah, screw that. Know, John just out of here. here. <laughs> oh and God. Then Tupac does it. And Tupac will do it. Let's, yep. Let's uh, both, Mister McGruff. Kilgruff and uh, Bed Green Three out. Okay. Uh, I'm prepping the next room. Um. Okay. There's that. Oh, it's a very empty room. Shoot. Yeah. There's no door. Actually, there is a door. Um. What I'm going to do is uh, cut quickly back. Uh, to Nolan, and you're basically walking down a corridor, mm -hmm. very long corridor. I'm just going to put a star field up since we're going to do theater of the mind for the minute. Um, you're walking down a long, a long corridor. XB12 oh. is with you. Uh, you're going to tell him anything about your great, your your greatest. You're going to whistle the Great Escape song if you want. You, you know, did you tunnel out with your own fingers? I don't know. Um, but this is a very long, low escape tunnel with lots of twists and turns. Pretty uneventful. You're scanning and, you know, it's not, you know, the scans aren't getting super far because the density of the rock and the minerals in them, um, because otherwise, you know, whatever. Um, but you do know generally that you're heading toward the monastery. Okay. If, if you were suspecting that that was it, you were, you're actually taking a bit of an underground route to the monastery. And uh, you come into, uh, let's see if I can get everything done here. And you come into a room, and I've got to get, you know, forgive me for effing around with some resources here. So as I'm walking down with XB, is this, am I to understand that this is where XB escaped from? Uh, explain what? He, uh, I don't know. You and XB may have to salt that out. Okay. Sort that out, not salt it. I, you can talk together if you want. The, this is part of that role playing thing we were told about. Role play? What's that? I'm just kidding. XB. It all I know is it involves things. You seem to have been able to open the door simply by walking towards it. Um, you, why? Why? Uh, it's my collar. It's, it's oh, special. Okay. Just like me. <clears throat> Urge to kill rising. I said that. Yes. To, I said that to myself. <laughs> but 
on the, on what the was, inside. What was, what was that, Papa? Sounded like you grunted. Oh, it, it's okay. It's just an old academy injury flaring up. <laughs> no. Um, you have yeah. old academy injuries. Uh, yeah, I had yeah, an aversion okay. to high pitched animal voices. Oh, oh you were, you came into Perhaps the room. I should game. talk to you like this. That's better. Much okay. better. No, I'm just kidding. Your voice is fine, XB. It's fine. Oh, yeah, because no, that really hurts my voice. Yeah, don't do that. No strain. Okay, you did. You do come up to a, a door at the end of this hallway, and... Um, See if your collar works. Yeah, do you have a collar? I mean, it's usually in my quarters in a special box under my bed, but I might have one. It may have gone up with a shuttle. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Be my luck. So, um, so we come to a door, you said? I'm sorry? Yeah, door... Ancient, good old-fashioned Bajoran script on it, uh, and okay. amazingly enough, you know, it's it could be technical, it could be whatever. Um, I mean, you do have some. You have a, a tricorder that you can attempt to hack your way into it, um, uh, or Hank could make some opinion, have some opinions. Do I see any kind of like interface panel or anything like that on it? You see, like. Um, See a lot of decorative scroll work around the outside of the door, mm -hmm. and as your your eye goes around toward it, because um, you all read Bajoran, and and there's a, a thing that says press here, okay. and there's arrows. So in in ancient in high ancient Bajoran, okay. So it's a bunch of swirlies and gotcha. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to notice that, and then I'm just going to press it. Okay, uh, so as you press it. Uh, you do open the door, the door swings open, and in a room, uh, you do see um, a, a box, and a uh, box is, is kind of open, and there's this wibbly-wobbly swirly thing. Oh, wibbly-wobbly. Okay, it's so still do I here. Recognize... <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... Exactly. <laughs> Uh, XB, you've seen this before? It's lots of times. Hmm. <laughs> Very helpful. What do you want to know um, about it? I love your capacity to suddenly form complete sentences. That's an amazing development. The closer we get to the orb, the smarter I get. Oh. Oh, you just told me what it was. It's an orb. Well, kind of an orb. Look at it swirling. Ooh. So I want to, of course, whip out the old tricorder um, okay. and scan it and see what sure. I get. Nothing. Nothing. Well, tricorder. It's an orb. It ain't doing jack. It ain't giving up, it ain't, ain't giving up anything. There's no technological scan. You, have, just, to, you um, have to touch it with your fingers. Or your feet, whichever you okay. want. <laughs> yeah, you don't have hands. So. Can I lick it? Um... Uh, and, uh, gang, you said you were proceeding to the, uh, down the corridor, I am assuming. I want to scan for life signs first. You do pick up life signs. In the uh, corridor or in the next room? In the room beyond the corridor. Okay. Oh, really? Like, this, this will be this one, area Thank five. You. Yeah. I will relay that information to the rest of the party. You guys had a brilliant idea with the sled to get in this one. Got any bright ideas for the next one? I just hold up my disruptor and go, oh. I got one. Can I do anything from upstairs in the commandant's office to give him advantage, like uh, looking on it, unlock oh, the door? Oh, yeah. Um, et yeah, that would be a thing. If they think to ask you, or you, well, you probably are hearing all this, right? I'm assuming there's no reason for you not to be hearing this. Well, yeah, we communicate. Like, I apologize. Go ahead. Since I have like a, I have a moment where I can divide my attention uh, while still keeping an eye on the outside. Yeah, I would. I would definitely 
at least try and give them a heads up advance like what's in there um the what's in there winds up uh believe it or not just a, a security shuts you down on on whatever's in there um you may be able to get the door open it will it will require a couple of a couple of uh, hefty rolls so it's about a difficulty four task whatever's in there they really do not want people going in and even the commandant because it looks like there's a a physical component to the lock like uh, if, you, if you can think of something with two keys where you know someone has to buzz you in upstairs and it's fortunate you're there someone has to buzz you in upstairs and also downstairs do something so what you could do and i think you still have subdural oh shit not with any of these people um <laughs> oops um uh yeah there's only two of us left there's only two of you left um uh, so you, you can't, you, you, you figured out you can't open the door like easily from just your location. So they'll need to go down to the door and, you know, do something. There's probably a bioprint. Who knows? Um, I tell the lieutenant commander about the bioprints and ask if they have any Cardassians they can use to open the door. Um, you, re you recognize this tone as being the more logical Vulcan side of me, as I give into you like specific details. You have a donkey. Are going to help? Yes. We I have guess. pieces of a well, donkey. You do. Yeah. You have, it's, does it all have to be a You also have Lurtham Latat. Oh, that's right. We had the the, no. the, the Cardassian I shot. Yeah. When we enter the room. Yeah, we'll go back and drag his body. Her. Her. They. Yeah. Her body? Do a simple phaser, like, shh, there goes a hand. I mean, she's still stunned or whatever. Yeah, she's still out of it until until we decide that, you know, she doesn't need to be. <laughs> until it's narratively convenient until for her Until it's not narratively to be. convenient for her to wake up, <laughs> then she'll wake up. Um, You're still kind Sorry. of technically in the scene, so she doesn't. You know, people kind of recover all their all their points, you know, between scenes, and then yeah. you also lose a momentum point. Um, and so I'm just I'm playing a little fast and loose with what a scene is, but it, this this is a continuous course of action, in my opinion. I'll look at the so, kid, uh, John, John, like, be like, be like, ready yeah. to shoot, uh, ready my what do you phaser got? Um, and, or disruptor, and I'm ready. Okay, it's a it's a it's a trivial. I will say it's a trivial thing unless you want to roll for it. Uh, to to activate this security protocol from this side. Uh, Lurtham Latat's hand fits in a little Cardassian forehead. It, it's actually measured by her forehead. It's the little spoon thing. We're going to establish that as a fact, that, that that's individual to each person. I knew there had it. to be a reason for it. I I I just made, uh, congratulations. We've expanded the lore. So we're just grabbing her by the head and putting her head just up to it. Smacked her head. Yeah. Well, it's like the retina scan. Access to not. Uh, Access to not. Right. <laughs> Damn it! Don't bump your Dang, head. Guys, don't have all the fun without me. Time. I want to try. You would just be ready to shoot when this door opens. Okay. Does Tupac uh, have 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 a phaser too? Well, Tupac's Tupac's holding her up and just. Oh, yeah. Were you shoving her up or was Tupac? Well, I'm gonna shove shove her up and then. Oh, okay. Tupac's got the gun on her. Then the, the pew pew people be ready to pew pew. All right. Um. Yep. So you've got. Uh. Yep. You put her put her head up there. The door swings open into a into an open room, and if you hadn't already guessed, uh, there is a a box. Uh, that's open, and what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make a, an assumption that you're all going to kind of go in here next. I don't know if you're bringing Lathram in there. Are you bringing her in there or not? I don't know. She can stay passed out in the hallway. All right, she'll stay passed out in the yeah, hallway. She's like flopped over the thing. I'm like, yeah. yeah, she's if like flopped over the handle. If we need another Cardassian forehead to get out, we got some in there, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what you've got is you open the Did door. Did you say you need Cardassian you... scalps? What? <laughs> no, I don't think yeah, this no. it doesn't no. work when their heads are cut no. off. Well, actually, it doesn't. You know, they they don't need the hair; they need this. So, 
I can almost imagine a grisly thing that happened. Laser scalpel. <laughs> yeah, with the Bajorans, like, you know, instead of like the thumb or whatever that you take, it's like they walk around with with parts of the foreheads. Neck bones um, and forehead kinda... flaps. Head flaps. Oh, that's too gross. Um, but it is not outside of what war is about. So we've got uh you guys come in. And you see XB12 and uh, Lieutenant no, uh, Lieutenant McLaren both staring into a box. You guys see the back half of this box, which is just a big kind of kind of rectangle. You all know what the orb boxes look like. So you're looking at the back side of it. It's open to uh, McLaren and XB12, and they're actually standing there slack jawed now. Um. Uh- as I as Tupac recognizes this, it's like a, a giant shiver goes down his back as uh, he's been in he's been uh, Bajoran for a while. So I think he would know about uh, orbs. Oh, you, oh, you're totally you've never seen one, but you sure as you know sure as uh, sure as heck know one when you see it. <laughs> yeah, so I got like all the goosebumps, all the tingling. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's kind of like the shortness of breath. Like, oh my god. The, uh, you got the yeah. rapture. Yeah, you got the jimmies. You got the you got the uh, the shakes and shimmies. Touching his pearls. Touching the pearls. What I'm gonna do is is cut it there for tonight. We're gonna end a little early because you know, hey, you end on an orb encounter, man. You start with what are we gonna see when we look in that orb? Um, I will say next next so? next session. Everyone will have an orb encounter, and for no apparent reason, uh, it depends on what Bator wants to do. If you want to have Bator have an orb encounter vicariously somehow, we'll work it out. Um, yeah, the kid gets so excited, he brings it up to the desk and says, look what we found, clonk. Clonk, while well, you're in the middle of the combat. That'll work exactly perfectly. Yeah. Um, I found it right but next anyway, to my whip. what I wanted to do is... Yes. Um, and what I'm going to do is say, uh, you know, hey, thanks, everybody, uh, for tuning in and playing and enjoying your time with us, spending a little bit of time. We have a lot of things going on here on Architects of Fate. It's not just all Star Trek all the time, although it almost feels like it. Um, on on uh, Tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m., we've got... Uh, those things aren't centered. Oh, well. Uh, we have Conan... Uh, werewolf, which is, I thought, a funny pun. Um, Wednesday at 8, we have a Denia. Maybe season 3? You want to tell me about season 3? Well, now that the party has laid their friend to rest, questions still remain. What is the cause of their amnesia? How much time have they actually forgotten? What happened to Noel? Well, you're going to find out this week with season 3, episode 4 of Adenia, the season 2 blues. Oh God! And then Maybe Thursday, he got into the moonshine left over by our dead crew man. Somehow yeah. it mysteriously popped up in their world. We are, but yeah, I think this is going to be very interesting. Um, and then we've got. Let me see. What is the the next thing you wound up doing? Thursday, eight thirty. We have a brand new show, totally new, new game system, new characters. Uh, all I know about it is super villains. Do you want to elaborate? No, I do not. You're going to you're you're going to get it. We've been working on it and it's going to be you know what? We 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 handcrafted. We handcrafted a, a system specifically for you. And um you all will be the guinea pigs as we test this system live Thursday starting at 8:30 Eastern Standard Time. Do you like Dr. Horrible? I like uh, you know no I can't even say that it I like it be... because I've I've never seen it. Hey, do you want to know what an expanded what? lore universe of Dr. Horrible would look like if one person had seen it and the other person hadn't? Well, guess what? You you can find out this Thursday where two GMs get together and butt heads to figure out who's the biggest butt head. Okay, that launches us off. It was this or aliens, and we already killed everybody in aliens. So uh, we're going to kill everybody in supervillains on Thursday night uh, at 8.30 Eastern. Friday at 6.30 Eastern, we have Cookie Trek. Uh, what Star Trek story would you write with the title, Do You Speak Non-Binary? 
uh, join Simon and Rufus the robot uh, and help them write that story. So uh, come on down Friday and uh, join in, have some cookies, and uh, do some cool stuff. And then Friday at 9 p.m., we have, um, uh, what do we have? We have Tomb of Annihilation. If we can get the, uh, the if since the uh, DM's house has not flooded. And did not shake apart. And did very not lucky, shake apart. Very lucky. Um, yes. And then um, on uh, 8.30 p.m. Monday this time, we have Something Something Sykes. Uh, join the intrepid crew of the USS, I believe it's the USS Fan Service. Uh, I thought it was the USS Another, oh, the other, other, another en- Enterprise. Another Enterprise. Yeah, this is the USS Another Enterprise. Um, for, well, what's going to happen? Because it looks like people have started uh, glowing. And um, yeah, and I think it's called, uh, this episode will be called Glowworm. Oh, so, that was my nickname hey, in high school. There you go, folks. I th- you had a lot of nicknames in high I school. I did. Uh, it came in handy. That we were handy, was also... <laughs> handy was also. Handy was also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we have anything broadcast? Do we have anything to get we out do. of this? We do. We do. Aselka with six raiders. Um. <laughs> anyway, um, everybody, thanks so much. Uh, do you want to introduce your cat to us, uh, uh, Drew? This is Chili. He is a needy cat, as you can see. Is it is and, it Chili the food or Chili the temperature? Um, Chili the temperature. Of the country. Uh, no, got like it. most cats, he wants attention on his own terms, but when he wants attention, he wants it all right now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, I totally understand. Um, yep. So everybody, when you go into the raid, be respectful, uh, make a lot of noise. Uh, you're representing, uh, the former, the, the, uh, group formerly known as Lords and Ladies of Fate. No, just don't even say it. Don't even say it. I'm going to say it because I almost said it and I have to now complete the action. Everybody, please take care, uh, be safe and, uh, stay cool and dry. <laughs>